and welcome to episode 4 of Bates Taste. So today I am going to try um, a unique flavour of uh, crisps or as you call them in the US and I think Canada, potato chips. Now who remembers the video where I tried a can of Aunt Bessie's jam roly poly and custard flavoured beer? Hands up? Anyone? Anyone? So yeah, in the UK I'm not too sure if any other country has them but Aunt Bessie's is a brand of foods they, they kind of go down the traditional route like jam roly-poly uh, yorkshire puddings um, that kind of thing it kind of gives you the impression like it's an old deer cooking your food for you so traditional flavors and that kind of thing um, but really it's just a big massive multinational company um, churning out um, well food that we eat quite uh, readily so yeah, jam roly poly custard lager, it actually tastes quite nice. What I'm trying today is roast beef and Yorkshire pudding um, potato chips, crisps. I'm calling them crisps, all right, the crisps. So yeah, roast beef and Yorkshire pudding. So for the uninitiated, um, quite a lot of us in the UK, especially for Sunday dinner, We'll have a, a roast dinner and that will normally consist of something like roast beef, some have chicken, some have pork. But for this, it's roast beef and Yorkshire pud. Uh, Yorkshire pudding, if you don't know, it is actually, I'm pretty sure it's more or less the same ingredients that what you'd have for a pancake. Not an American style pancake, but a UK style pancake. But you would omit any sugar or anything like that. Although, traditionally, Yorkshire puddings can also be eaten as a sweet and not as a savoury. So you can actually have a Yorkshire pudding with um, ice cream and all that kind of thing. I've never tried it. I've always took to the whole uh, Yorkshire pudding with a savoury dish. So like a Sunday dinner or like in one of the previous videos, in a Christmas dinner. Although, I'll be honest, we don't have Yorkshire pudding in our Christmas dinners. We do Sunday dinners and stuff like that. But anyway, I'm rambling on. Oh, Bessie, roast beef and Yorkshire pudding. I'll be honest, I don't know if Americans have Yorkshire puddings. Obviously, you have roast beef. I don't know if you have Yorkshire puddings. Put a comment in the, below in the comments, you know, that kind of thing. If you can be bothered. Shall we just get back to, oh, get back to it? Shall we get straight to the tasting? Because I'm bloody starving. So the company is Seabrook. It's a very well-known company in the UK. Um, probably not as well-known throughout the world as Walkers. But um, Seabrook is, is to the good quality uh, product, a uh, good quality company. Uh, I think the Northern, yeah, they are based in Bradford. Um, these are generally, generally really nice uh, crisps. I do like these. They're... Um, crinkle cut as well so they're going to be quite thick and should hopefully be full of flavour so yeah I'm going to go straight to the pack now this is what you call a share bag 120 grams or I just call it a uh, personal bag come a bit of a chubby la la so niffage as always I'll be honest they just smell like crisps gravy yes cut it out Psychological in it, you know. So this is what they look like. So you can see, crinkle cut, and it looks like they've still got the skin on as well, which I really like. I like my mashed potato with skin on. So uh, yeah, let's give it a go. Now, funnily enough, this weekend gone, we went out for a carvery, um, and we actually had roast beef. And you know what? These taste like roast beef. They really do taste like roast beef. They're really nice. Walkers used to do a nice range of beef crisps. It was beef and onion. I don't think they exist anymore. These are really nice. They're really crunchy. They've got a lot of flavour. Um, yeah, I could eat these all day. A nice solid roast beef flavour. These are lovely. 
What you may notice though, is I've not mentioned Yorkshire pudding, not once. I can't taste the Yorkshire pudding. I'll be honest, the Yorkshire puddings don't really have that much of a flavour to them anyway. Um, I kind of use one to mop up the gravy or shove a, a lot of mash in there and eat it that way. Um, yeah, it's, I don't know why they bother putting them. I suppose roast beef and Yorkshire pudding, you're going to put them together because just people like me going, oh, roast beef and Yorkshire pudding. Um, ultimately, though, you can't taste the Yorkshire pudding, but they are nice. They are really nice. I think maybe they're looking for like maybe slightly creaminess that you might get from a Yorkshire pudding. Um, I'm kind of making it up now. I say ultimately, these are really nice roast beef crisps. Um, I can't I keep saying it, I can't taste the Yorkshire pudding. Does not mean they're a bad packet of crisps. These are really nice. Um, I was going to share them with Jane. I did promise after I did the video I'd share them. You'll know if I didn't share them, because then I won't be in Vegas. <laughs> yeah. um, they're nice. I recommend buying them um, in the UK. Got them from b and I've mentioned B&M before. It's a store I go to quite a lot for any unique flavoured um, items. I'm going to enjoy those. A massive thumbs up to those. Roast beef flavour. Lovely. Yorkshire pud. No idea. Uh, yep. I'll... Um, I'm going to go now. Thanks for watching. Um, thanks, thanks for watching any of the episodes, really. It's um, it's fun doing them. It is fun doing them. Um, hopefully the channel, well, this part of the channel, will get uh, stronger and stronger. And um, Vagus is coming up soon as well. Uh, yeah. For now, like, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. And uh, thanks and try a bit. One more thing to add. Um, I did give Jane the bag just now to try it. Yeah, she said that there's a bit of a creaminess underlying that she also thinks is possibly the attempt at the uh, Yorkshire pudding. But uh, yeah, nice Boston, as we say around here. Try a bit.